What's going on everybody? Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to keep your boat from being destroyed when the waves are coming through in like a storm and knocking it all over the place. So I've started off trying to build these walls either side of them. I had it to where it was propped up high enough, like three walls high, on the front and the back so it was up out of the water. And then a road wave comes through it knocks it loose and then it takes damage, right? So then I've tried doing this, and it still rocks up down a little bit, and it does help, but it's not very aesthetically pleasing. So my next thing is I'm, I build up this this rock, uh, this rock wall all the way along here, right? Just with the, the hoe raising the ground. So next thing I'm trying is just placing some some ceiling tiles in there, and then maybe like one or two on the outside just to keep it from floating away and hopefully if we can place these at the lowest point it will keep your boat all the way down all right so now it's down all the way it's going to buckle back out right so that's where these come in handy right it's not very aesthetically pleasing doing it this way but this boat's not going anywhere now water can now go over top of the boat and it's not going to really affect it. Alright. No repairs yet. Shouldn't be any. Um, I have to test this a little bit. Wasn't any uh, repairing I had to do. But... Get rid of these now. Alright. Now, because it's sitting so low, by getting rid there it goes. You're gonna that this thing could pop back out the side, right? All right. So right now, this one's still holding it. All right. Let's see if I can get this without destroying the boat. Yeah, see now it's just locked, knocked loose. None of this is gonna work. Alright. So you have to have something. Oh, wrong way. You have to have something to hold it into that. Alright, so the ceilings. Um, oh, I missed one. I need a crafting station. I could have swore there was a crafting station within range. But... Alright, so destroy that. You need something like in the middle just to hold it still. Alright, so just something like that. Not very aesthetically pleasing, but it's not going to hurt the boat either. All the way down. Probably don't need. Well, I'm not even going to put the third one. Probably don't need three of them. Probably one on each side would work. But this is what I've been doing. Alright, so the other way, you want it to be a little more aesthetically pleasing, less so than the walls and ceiling tiles. You also have these options, right? There's core wood. Alright, put these uh, two meter beams in here. You can try doing it with regular wood. The short beams, though, aren't enough. It place those, and it'll... It can get past that sometimes. Like right here, it's where it's pushed up against the wall. So this rock wall so far, it might not. But I found that using the longer ones seems to work a little better. It's not a whole lot more, but... All right, so you can do that. Two beams in the side over here. 
Um, you can also attach them to poles, either like with core wood or just the square beams, either way. You can do this. This, I think, looks kind of dumb. Alright, so I don't really use that. Um, I just usually use this, and then what you can do, you know, once you're going, once you get it started, destroy that. Um, let's see. I'm going to use this one over here once it goes down. Alright, it's down. Come back over here. Do that. And then there's a little bit of space over here on this one. Just trying to kind of work it back and forth. So, like, that may not work once it goes down just a tad bit more. Right there. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. But something like that's going to hold it in place. You make it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing doing stuff like that. The problem is then you just have to destroy stuff before you take your boat back out. But anyway, um, either using the, the beams and the poles or the walls and, the, and the, I guess it's actually the floor, not the ceiling. Any of that stuff seems to work. You'd probably use these beams too if you wanted to. When the storm comes through then, right, there's a little bit of a storm right now, it's not real bad, but you can see the waves coming through. Normally the boat be rocking up and up and down. I had one of the uh, the smaller ones, right, the, car the carve. I had one of these and a raft when I first started beat up against the shore and it broke. I mean it gave me back the resources but it was just kind of a pain. So this is kind of the solution I've come up with so far. It's not great, but it's better than losing your boat. Hopefully they will add like um, like mooring into the game to where you can have like you know put up some some posts on your dock. Like put some rope between it, that'd be pretty cool. I don't think it's in the game. I haven't seen it yet, at least. I couldn't find anything on it when I searched it. Um, but hopefully this helps. One way to keep your boat safe, especially if you're on the side of the island where the waves come in and not go out. Anyway, hope that helps, and uh, y'all have a good one.